We're talking to ourselves. There's Gentry and Gemma. Hi, Gentry. Hi, Gemma. Hi, Gentry. Hi, Gemma. Hi, Gemma. You guys have your one random item for the game? This is Rebecca's. She's got a hat, and Ruben's got a magnifying glass. <laughs> Girls are breaking up a little bit. We may need to go outside. Too. Here comes Bailey. <coughs> Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. You got Brady? Hi, Bubby. Hi. Hi. Bailey, you have your one random item for the game? Yes. Bubba, you want to go your tea? No. No, you know he's going to get it. There you go, Bubba. Come on, Gentry, you're frozen. And we go downstairs. And he started glitching. I don't know what that was. Yeah, Ginger, you are like frozen. You may need to go outside. It might be your internet connection. You may need to go outside. Because you guys don't freeze when you're outside. All right, do you want to go brush your teeth? Brady. We're getting a puppy. Brady, brush. Oh, you are? Yes. What kind? Uh, uh, mini weenie doll. Aww. Yeah, it's got a big cream colored mini I've officially dog. lost my mind. <laughs> I'm going to teach Bailey second grade and try to contain the wild thing and house dogs. I did. I saw a little chihuahua. I think it's in Henderson at the adoption place. And I was like, ooh, maybe I should get that. And then I was like, no, don't do it, D. <laughs> I've yeah. lost it. Um, <laughs> it's not okay. But. Now yeah, we're trying to think of naming it Dash or Thor. Because it's going to be a boy. Mm -hmm. All right. Random items. We have a magnifying glass. We have a banana. And a hat. Grant and Maggie, do you have your stuff? I'll try to make sure not to. I brought it. There's a banana. You got, I got a banana. Look, Jensen. Yay! It's random. I got a cup. You got a cup. There we go. I got a cup. <laughs> Looks like Grant. What do you have? What is that? Mine you. Is that a block? Grant and Maggie, what are those? <laughs> Hi, Bracken. Are you awake? <laughs> Ooh, Bracken's got a sword. He looks so tired, Bracken. <laughs> uh, I have a sword. You had to bring the timeout books back. <laughs> you what? I have a sword. You had to bring the time out the timeout books back for Brady. <laughs> Pull off the timeout box. All right, guys. Let me talk real quick. Okay. We're going to have to get started.
Can you guys see it? <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and get started. If any friends hop on, we'll just say hi. Sorry, guys. I screamed a lot yesterday on the Thunderbird at Holiday World, so my voice is like really scratchy. <laughs> so my name is Nikki, and I'm so glad you're here in our virtual jump. We're here today to talk about... Creativity. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. You see, God made us to be like him. He made us to show his love to others. And we can do that in so many ways when we, get, when we use the creativity that he gave us. So I've got a fun creativity challenge for us today. Let me exit out of this real quick. So you all brought a random item, right? Mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to use your creativity to think of things that the item could be, but not what it actually is. All right. So see, I have a banana. This is my example. I could pretend it's a phone. I could pretend it's a smile. Um, I could pretend it's a door handle opening up the door, Beep. right? So something else, it has to be something else entirely. And you have 30 seconds to come up with an idea that we have to guess what you're doing, right? So who wants to go first? I saw Bailey's hand first, so I'm gonna unmute you, Bailey. Tell us what you have. A cup. A cup. So. Using just the cup, not no words, do something with it that we have to guess what you're using it as. Oh, guys, start a hat. guessing. A hat. A hat. Party hat. Yes. Party hat. A party a hat. hat. Party hat. Yeah, are party. they right? Hi. A hat. Okay, good job. Who wants to go next? Grant? Okay, Grant, tell us what you got. Say it real loud. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Say it real loud, or I'm gonna type you. A bell. A bell? A hay bell. Okay, he's got a hay bell. Do something with it that we have to guess what it is. What is it, guys? What's he doing? Cup. It? Is it a cup? Drink. Cup. 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 Is it a cup, Grant? Cup. Cup. Yes. Good job. All right. Who wants to go next? Okay, Reuben. What do you have, Reuben? Show them what you have. Reuben, show them what you have. Show them what you have. He has a magnifying glass. All right. So he's gonna do something different with it now. What is he doing with it? Tennis racket. Is that right? No. Bat. Bat. Is it a bat? Bat. No, no bat. Playing baseball. Swing. Think of Star Wars, I think. Yeah. Uh, I say her. Okay. I forgot what they were called. Sword. Is it a yes. sword? Okay. He is using a sword. Who wants to go next? I want Gemma. Go next. What do you have first? Show us what you have. You have a tractor. Okay. What is she gonna do with the tractor? 
<laughs> you could go like this. What is it, guys? What is Gemma doing with her tractor? We're going to go outside. Come on, buddy. Swing. Is it a swing? You got it, Bracken. Good job. Rebecca, you want to go next? Okay, what does Rebecca have? She has a hat. Hey, do something different with it. Slingshot. Yeah. Slingshot. Slingshot. Good job. Who wants to go next? Gentry? Okay. Bracken, I got you next. You're in the queue. What? Gentry, show us what you have. What do you have, Gentry? She has a trophy. Okay. What is she going to use as the trophy? We can't see. Is it a hat? Yes. Okay, Bracken, your turn. Show us what you got. He's got a sword. Comb. Are you using it as a comb? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I think Maggie is the only one we got left. Maggie, are you ready? Maggie, show us what you got. What do you got? Is it a teacup? It looks like a bowl, is that right? Okay, now what are you gonna use it as? A bucket? Is it a bucket? Yep. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. So I bet some of you guys had different ideas of like what you could do with some of the items. Like I, a sword, you could use as scissors <laughs> for your hair racking. Or the trophy could have been used as a cup to drink out of. There are so many different things that we could use items for, that we could use our creativity, right? So we are on to our story time with Miss Lee. <coughs> I can't hear you. Is your volume down on it? I can't hear you. She's working on it. Gemma, we can't. <laughs> we can, Gemma. We can't hear Lee. I can hear Gentry and Gemma. <laughs> I can hear Lee. I heard something. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> All right, is that any better? It's a little better. We can hear a little bit. Okay. You just may need to hold it near you or something. I don't know. Today, I have an amazing story for you about a woman named Esther. Esther's story shows us how God can use our creativity in unexpected ways. Esther was the queen of Persia, but she didn't become queen the usual way. Her father was not a king, and she was not from a rich or famous family. Esther was Jewish. The Jewish people were often referred to as God's people. Many of God's people had been captured and brought to Babylon when their home was defeated. 
that Babylon was taken over by Persia. So Esther grew up in Persia, a land that was not her own. When Esther's parents died, her cousin Mordecai raised her as his own daughter. Before we continue the story, Grant and Meg are going to help me. Grant is going to be. King Darcy was the king of Persia, and he had a bit of a temper. A temper. So part of this is they're not allowed to say anything. They can only use their face or things like that. So make the face you make if one of your sisters ate all the cereal for breakfast and you had to eat something else. Alright, so Maggie, you get over here. You are going to be Esther. But you are one of five chosen people. Make up a growing face if you're going to be a true leader. Show me your profile. Here's the thing, like I said, they're not allowed to say anything. They can only do motions or use their face. So give me a thumbs up if you understand that great idea. All right. So at this time in history, King Darcy was the king of Persia when his queen refused to show up for a wild party. He got angry. I mean, angry. The king thought about what he should do next. Then he had an idea. He decided to hold a contest. He ordered his officials to gather the most beautiful young women and put them through a year of beauty treatment. One of the girls chosen for the contest was Esther. Mordecai told Esther that was from a Jewish family and she could not tell anyone so she said a secret. When it was time for Xerxes to meet King and Queen, can you guess who he chose? That's right. He chose Esther and his queen. King Xerxes also a royal official named Haman to become more important than any of the other leaders in the kingdom. But he was not a good guy at all. He expected everyone to bow down to him whenever they saw him. When Esther's cousin Mordecai wouldn't bow down to Haman, Haman was angry. He made a plan to destroy Mordecai and all of the Jewish people in the land. King Darcy agreed and sent out an announcement to everyone. Mordecai sent a message to Esther saying that she must ask the king to save her. What does that message say, Esther? So Mordecai said, please ask the king to save our people. But Esther was afraid. I mean, afraid. She knew that no one was allowed to go and talk to the king unless they asked for the term. If someone came to see the king without being invited, the king could have them killed unless he reached out his golden scepter to them. But the king did not ask Esther to come. It was very risky for Esther to go to the king. But Mordecai sent another message encouraging her. What if you don't say anything at this time? Then help for the Jews will come from another place. Who knows? It's possible that you become queen at this time for just this reason. Mordecai was saying that he believed the whole reason God had allowed Esther to become queen was so she could save 
five people. And Esther agreed. She asked Mordecai to tell God's people not to eat anything for three days while they prayed and asked God to save his people. She and her attendants would not eat either. So Esther will be given to get back a Esther didn't eat for three days. Then she got ready to see the king. Esther entered the throne room. She was thirsty for pleased to see her, and he reached out his golden scepter. Whew, that was a real week. The king told Esther he would give her anything up to half of the kingdom. This was Esther's big chance to save her people, but she did make her request right away. Esther was really creative because she knew she would have a better chance if she made the king curious about what she wanted. Esther invited the king and Haman to a feast. Can you show them how you want to play? At the meal, King Thursday kept trying to figure out what Esther wanted, but Esther waited for the perfect moment. She invited him and Haman to come to another feast the next day, and she promised to tell him then. At that meal, she begged the king to spare her people. She said that Haman was the one who planned to kill her people. The king heard this. He was furious. That very night, Haman was killed, and the king created a new order that would save the Jewish people. All right, let's see you celebrate. Everybody else have a happy day? So, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That's it. So, God gave Esther a very special job to do in a land that was far from her home. He gave her the chance to help her when no one else could and to help her people. When the time was right, she used her creativity to convince the king to save him. God created Esther with a purpose, and he has a purpose for you too. So the bottom line is, God created you for a purpose. So let's pray and ask God to help us follow his purpose for our lives. Dear God, thank you so much for the story of Esther. It reminds us that you have an amazing plan and purpose for our lives and that we can trust you no matter what. Please help us to use everything you've given us to do what you want. We love you. We ask you to thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lee. All right. Just like God had a purpose for Esther, he has a purpose for each of us too, right? We're learning this morning that, if I can get it to go, Well, here we go. We're learning that God created you for a purpose. God always has a plan for our lives and his plans are always good. Always guys. He had a purpose for his son too. He sent Jesus to save the entire world. That means everybody from long ago till now. And because Jesus came to be our savior, we can have a relationship with God that will last forever. So how do you know God's purpose for you? Well, you can pay attention to the gifts and talents God gave you. You can pay attention to the people around you who might need help. Maybe you're good at making friends and you see someone in your class who's lonely when you go back to school and you, or you see them on the playground that if you're going to a park or something and you're, they're lonely and you can go out to them and reach out to them. So maybe God puts you in that position to be their friend. That's just an example. So there are so many ways that we can use our creativity that God gave us to show love to others. Every day we can discover more about the purpose he has for our lives. All right. So if you have an extra device, it is time for our Kahoot. And then I'll make... Miss Welty, the host. 
<laughs> there you go, Courtney. Is she around, Bracken? <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Okay, go. Who's Bib? <laughs> oh my gosh, my thing went. <laughs> Are you Bib, Bailey? I was, I was trying to type in the thing and um, it went wrong. Hold on. That's okay. You can be Bib as long as I know who it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you, Are you hiding today, Courtney? That's definitely a thing now, Bib. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, Bib, come on. <laughs> Grant, is Maggie coming? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's Maggie. Ooh, she's got a, is that a star? Cool. Or a flower. Or a flower. I like it. Starf the starflower, mommy. Ruben, do you like Bracken's hair? Or does he need to cut okay, it? Okay, here we go. I think he needs. To I got it changed. No, no. All of our all of our kids got the back to school haircuts this week. So yeah. I mean, for virtual learning, he can just look like. Yeah. He needs to cut that front line. <laughs> yeah, you got a long piece of bang, Bracken. <laughs> got you. Okay, y'all ready? Let's go. We got big bib in here. <laughs> I changed it. I know. I liked bib. <laughs> Who was Esther? Our story today was all about Esther. Who was she? <laughs> Was she the queen of Persia? Was she Jewish? Was she raised by her cousin Mordecai? Was she from a rich and famous family? Oh, three of them. All of the above. Yeah, except for she wasn't from a rich and famous family, but she was the queen. She was Jewish, and she was raised by her cousin. Good job. Oh, R and R in the lead. How am I in second place? That's. How my last place? How did Esther become queen? She was born a king. She married a king. She was in a contest, or she was voted to be queen. How did she become the queen? Tricky one. Woo! Yeah, she was in like a contest. Remember, King Xerxes said, "Get all these people and give them beauty treatments for a year." I want beauty treatments for a year. Right. Me too. And then to be queen at the end of it. Oh. oh. Lead. Why did Esther need to go see King Xerxes? To eat dinner? To try to save the Jewish people? To sing a song with him? Or for a party? Why did she need to go see him? I hope you didn't get it wrong. Like... <laughs> Yeah, oh, good job. You're trying to I save her wrong. people, right? She had to save the Jewish people. I said trying to save the Jewish Maggie's people. Maggie's still in the lead. What did the king say he would give Esther? Anything up to half of his kingdom, a new country for her people, a concert by the Joe Bros? <laughs> she had to leave the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs>
anything up to half his kingdom. He said he would give her anything she needed. R and R, Reuben and Rebecca. <laughs> Maggie's still in the lead. Last question. How did Esther use her creativity? She made up a dance routine, she wrote a song, she painted a picture, or she told the king about the plan. How did she use her creativity? Right now, let the screen go blank. Yeah, she told the king <laughs> about the plan. Good job. Drum roll. How did you make it? <gasps> Ruby and Rebecca. In second place, Maggie. Oh, Maggie, you were so close. And in first place, da 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 da, Grant. Good job. Oh, at least I got in the top five. <laughs> so, fun fact, in case you guys didn't know. Okay, so Esther was Jewish. She had to change her name to Esther. So she could like hide from being persecuted. So her her Jewish name is. Does anybody know? Hadassah. 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 I knew it. You can find that in Esther two seven. That's where we got her name. Hadassah. Hadassah. Yeah. Do you know anybody named Hadassah? Yeah. 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 Doesn't know anybody named Hadassah. Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't know I said else. yes. Well, I mean, to be honest, we haven't seen you guys in like five months, so. I said yes. <laughs> I think Such a blessing. Good. <laughs> Did you get your hair cut, Courtney? I know someone named Vanessa. I know someone named Vanessa. <laughs> oh, your hands stink. Okay. Oh, the dog. Everybody All say right, guys. We'll be back same time, same place next week. Hopefully in September we'll be in church. Who knows? Sure. The Lord willing, right? We're not going back to school until September 28th. Oh, my gosh. Is it okay if I leave? I bet that that's when we'll get shut down again. <laughs> right. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 Peace out.